Good morning guys, what's going on? Welcome to a new video. It is really early. I had a long drive down here, but this weekend I'm gonna spend some time scouting for elk because the elk should be shedding their antlers anytime soon. You know, one of the things a lot of people ask me is how can I find more antlers or what are some tips for shed hunting? And the first one would be to scout. You gotta find the animals when they're shedding, find out where they're living, and that way you'll know exactly where to hike and what ground to cover in order to find some shed. So that's a goal today, is to hike in uh, up to a glassing point and cover some ground with the optics, look for bulls, maybe, just maybe, one could be shed by now. There's a possibility of it, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up too high. I'm just gonna try to stay back and glass and see what I can see from a distance. And um, if, if there's a shed bull or something offers a chance to go grid a little bit of country, then I'll try to do that. We'll just have to play it by, I don't know, not by ear, but we'll just have to play it with what I see. So if I see something, maybe I'll go out and look. But if not, I'm just going to keep my distance, try to find some bulls, and just enjoy the mountain today. While it's dark, I'll just throw the camera in my pocket and get up in the hills as, as fast as I can. And we'll wait for first light and see if we can find some milk. Well, it's daylight now, and uh, still trekking along, trying to get some elevation. Still a little bit of ways before I can get to where I can glass for bulls. Uh, I'm kind of down low in the cedars right now. So once I get a little bit of elevation, should be able to post up, look for bulls, and uh, hopefully glass some up. Just now getting into a little bit of snow, but there's really not much at all. So that's nice. The bulls have had an easy winter down here. Hopefully they're nice and healthy. And and making it through the winter just fine. Hopefully I can get my eyes on some soon. It's been a while since I've seen an elk. Well, it's something. Old. Dang, way old, look at that. Well guys, this trip is not exactly what I planned it to be. I've seen no elk, and that's the second chalk deer shed I've found. So we're gonna leave this one behind, give back to the desert. Keep going, but from what I can see, it doesn't look like the elk are in right here, so. I'm gonna walk down a little lower, but I'm not gonna put too much more time into this area, because there is zero tracks, and I have seen zero elk, so. I thought with the snow this year that they'd be down this far. Apparently not. So I'll have to start over tomorrow, try a new spot, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna still keep gridding some of this sagebrush juniper country see what we can stir up wasn't a total waste to walk down here just found the first shed not a bad one either nice now how has that been sitting here in the wide open for at least a year maybe two really dished out burr that's cool nice was really starting to worry about down in here. Clearly I'm not gonna kill it and find a ton, but at least I found something. I wish the elk were in here now, but they're just definitely not in here this year. Check out that bull, really pretty. Looks like it's got some velvet on the royal up there. Just a really pretty frame, bleached white. Well, I guess I'll just keep walking down where I was heading anyways, but I'm gonna take some pictures and then we'll get the pickup. All right. Let's check it out. Man, that thing is all dished out. Kind of like a, I've always noticed the older bulls kind of have that dished out burr. This one doesn't look super old. Antler doesn't weigh very much, but uh, we'll throw it on the backpack and take it with us. Just what we were looking for. Just need to find a few more of them. That's weird. Yeah, it's not very dense. It just doesn't weigh much at all. Not bad though. We'll take it. Well, hate finding this stuff. It's always a bummer. Find stuff like this. Holy smokes. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I knew he was big, but I did not know he was that big. Look at that. Wow, look at the mass on that thing. 
Dang. Looks like he's been here all winter and he's bleached out, so maybe a fall kill. Hard to say. How many? Looks like he was over there. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, including the eye guard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this side. That little guy's busted. Stinky sucker. I'm not able to pack out the deadhead, but I'm going to drop a pin on Onyx, and then what I'll have to do is turn it into fishing game to try to get it recovered, and with any luck, I'll be able to get the head back if all goes well, but I do have to turn it into the fishing game first, and they're supposed to come up here and check it out and kind of take it from there, but this thing is cool, guys. Normally, being where I'm at, if it was just a normal average buck, I'd just leave it and don't, wouldn't touch it. I think I'm going to have to call this one in to try to get it. That thing is bad. Such a cool looking buck, too. With all those extra points and just how much mass is down here. Well, I guess that's what I'll do. I'll drop a pin right now on Onyx map and, and mark this spot be sweet to get that thing back because that is a giant dead right here just kind of right on the edge of the sagebrush flat that's too bad but that's the way it goes right hmm. hope i get him man there must have been some big bucks that used to roam down here i'm finding lots of chalk lots of this kind of stuff looks like this guy was possibly bedded underneath underneath the cedar And something like that another one we're gonna leave behind leave it behind see ya well guys I have tried and tried for the life of me to get a hold of any fishing game officer I called the regional office and three separate individual officer cell phones numbers and not one of them answered so I had to leave a voicemail I gotta leave this sucker behind in hopes that I get a call back so we can take the proper steps and hopefully recover it so, fishing game's gonna have to come check it out sooner or later, but for now that thing's just gonna continue to rot away. Part of the program when you're a shed hunter, especially in Utah, I'm curious, what are your guys' deadhead laws in, in the state where you live? In Utah, you can't touch them. So I didn't even touch that dang thing. I didn't even move it so the antler would move out of the mud. That thing is left alone. In Utah, you're supposed to call them in, report them. The fishing game officers are supposed to come investigate them. And if they're not part of any poaching or human caused death, you should get it back. So we're gonna see how this all pans out. The last time I did this was for an elk head and I did get it back from Officer Shumway. So that went really smooth. Hopefully this will too, but again, it's way back up here. So um, hopefully someone doesn't come find it and just take it, right? That's kind of the gamble you got to take. So moving on, guys. Going to head out of here. I got a long walk back. So carrying on. Tried to get out of the wind down here in this bottom, but it's still pretty breezy. Just want to show you my lunch. This, Casey got me stuck on buying these salmon, smoked salmon packets. So that thing is like vacuum sealed tight. This is black pepper. And then I got a bag of Ritz. Of course, you need some crackers with salmon. And then this... This is a whole bottle of the new Hush Signature Series Mountain Ops Ignite Lemonade flavor, which I'm excited about. So hopefully you guys have tried this by now. If you guys have not tried the Ignite, the Lemonade Ignite flavor, you need to. This has easily become my favorite flavor. And uh, we sell it in the tubs and coming soon, maybe even by the time this video is out, we do sell in trail packs too at mountainops.com. It's crazy, it's probably about 1 p.m. and I have drinking zero water. I did eat a little snack and a little canister of peaches but so far I've had no liquid and just because it's so cold you forget about it. So I'm gonna chug some water, eat some salmon, and then get back on the trail. All right guys I got a call from the fishing game. Finally he replied and wants me to email him the coordinates of where the buck was and all the other information he said he is very very backed up and does not know when he'll get to it that's kind of a bummer who knows when he's going to finally get way back up in there and, and uh, investigate that thing but i am now moving to another high point for last light i'm gonna 
get up here and try to glass some bulls before dark try to get an idea of where I need to be for shed season if I can find any of these dang things but man I'm getting my butt kicked well I mean with the one shed and the one big buck you can't really complain right but sure would love to see some elk well we have a possible shed so I'm gonna get the spotting scope out to confirm cannot tell 100% or not get the razor out the uh, tripod and see if this is indeed an elk antler or not all right is it or is it not an elk shit man that's a tough one man that's a tough one usually with the scope you can tell right away but I do not think it's a shed because typically if, if it's an elk antler you just know it no elk yet dang it thought I had a shed just gonna have to keep glassing that was a good spot just not exactly what I thought it was mm -hmm. 